Just like the previous question, this one also obviously involves percentages. So I'm also going to use the open formula. But this one is clearly more complicated. Now, first of all, it's not just a percentage. It's a percentage change, right? It's increased by 4% of the previous year's value. So that, that changes things slightly. Plus, it's not just a one-time change. It happens every single year, and that makes it an exponential equation. Still, when I have percentages, I want to kind of keep things consistent. And so the open formula really helps me stay organized. But this version of the open formula is way too basic. Now we're going to need to make a change. We're going to still have the original. We're going to multiply it this time by 1 plus or minus p. That's raised to some sort of exponent, usually a t or an x in this case. And that equals the new value for each year. Okay. So it still kind of looks like the word open, but we have some changes that allow it to kind of adapt with the more complicated situation. But we still can think of it the same way, right? So what is my original value? They tell me that the starting value is 15,000. So that's going to go in that opening spot. Then we have to make a choice. Is it going to be 1 plus or 1 minus p? Well, the good thing about this formula is it just matches with our story like identically, right? It's very literal. They say it's an increase of 4%, so we're going to use the symbol for increase, plus. Then 4% needs to be written as a decimal. So this should be 0 0.04, and then to the t, we'll keep that as an exponent because they don't give us a specific year. They just tell us that it's going to be kind of the same thing. In fact, let's actually change it to an x just to match with the question. Um, and then the new amount in this case is the population. So that's, that's just the letter P. So they're doing something a little sneaky here. They know that you think of P as a percentage and they're kind of using this variable in a different way. So the, the actual letter doesn't matter. It's the placement of the letter that helps us with the formula. Now I just need to clean this up slightly. First, they put the P in the front, so we might as well do that as well. 15,000 is still outside and then 1.04 is the amount in the parentheses, and sure enough, that is choice D, and that is the answer. If you were a little unsure, you could solve this in other ways. You could you could graph this maybe. I don't know if that would help, but um, what might help is uh, arithmetizing, picking a number and testing it out. So we do have some points that we can plug in if we're clever. We have the points um, 0, 15,000, right? That's our starting value, and if we put 0 in for x, we would not get 15,000 out for choices A and B, right? The 15,000 would be, be turned into a 1 because anything raised to the 0 power is 1. So A and B would not work with that starting point. For the second point, we would just either need to look at the, the 0.96 versus the 1.04 and kind of think about it, or we could just do uh, in our calculator what would happen after one year. You might have your own ways of getting the percentage just by yourself, and so you might do, okay, 4% of 15,000 is 600, so if I increased by that amount, I would have 15,600, and that point is only going to fit in choice D. Uh, choice C would give us minus 600, so it would be uh, something like 14,400. If that's confusing, well, then don't do it that way, right? It's better to memorize the formula. It's actually faster, but it does go to show that we can do this kind of arithmetize and plug points into equation strategic approach if we need to. But if you're really looking to get into the, the harder section of this test, you, you need to know the open formula and how to memorize exponential equations.